and never fail that makes us God-pleasing, but rather the reality that we who are poor have the good news of Jesus preached to us in the forgiveness of our sins. For even though John was the greatest, he had to hear the good news as he faced his final days. He had to be reassured that, yes, Jesus is the Christ, the one come into the world to save sinners, the Lamb of God predestined to bear the sin of the world and be slain for our salvation. John had to hear that Jesus came to fulfill all righteousness, to be John's Savior. I mean, think of that. We say Jesus is the Savior of the world. Yes, but he's John. John the Baptist himself, his Savior, John's strength, John's confidence, John's constant friend that would see him through the good times and the bad. Jesus knew that John needed to hear this message, and he knows that you need to hear it as well. The fact that Jesus preaches to John via his disciples assures us that it is not by our own righteousness that we are saved, but rather it is according to Jesus' mercy for us. For yes, John was the goat. And if we were to say who we are, we're not the goat, but we're the goat. We're the worst of all time. But it is the thank you, thank you, Justin, I appreciate it. But the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he, greater than John. And who is the least in the kingdom of heaven? Who is it, everybody? Me <laughs> and you. It is I, Lord, who am the least in the kingdom of heaven. We confess this. No one is as bad as I am. No one is as low as I am. No one is as terrible as I am. Have you had that feeling, that, that feeling where you are just the worst thing on the face of the earth? That's who we are, but great is the message for us. We who are the least. That Jesus, who is the greatest, the Son of God, in this most blessed exchange, took for himself our spot in life. He took the back place. He took our leprous sin and blind doubt. He made himself the least in the kingdom of heaven so that we may be declared the greatest. And now in this happy switch, we are the greatest. We are the greatest one, greater than John. For our Father does not see our constant failure, but instead sees His Son's ultimate victory. Our Father does not see our sin and leprous flesh, but sees only the righteous blood of His Son. For my friends, John was sitting in that prison cell and needed to hear that. He needed to hear that Jesus is his Savior. I don't know if you know what it feels like to despair. To just have... I mean, maybe you've experienced this. When you've done something, at, at the moment you think you're right. But then as time goes on, that feeling of guilt sinks in. Has anyone ever experienced this? Am I the only one who experiences it? No. And it, it sinks in. And the devil takes our thoughts and makes them dark. And the world looks at us like, why would you be going through this? And our own, our own, our own self, we feel like our stomach feels like we ate fajitas that have been left out for two weeks. You just have this feeling of deep despair. And me coming along and saying, hey, don't worry, John had that too. No. The reality is that in the midst of that darkness, in the midst of that despair, in the midst of that prison cell you find yourself in, you hear the same message that John did hear. That the gospel is for you. That you are forgiven that you are loved by Jesus, that He is your friend that will never, ever, ever, ever leave you, no matter how messed up you become. He will always love you. 
He will always be there. Because in Jesus, my friends, you have the same gift as John the Baptist, eternal life. Jesus didn't come and die for the greatest. He died for the worst. He died for you. He died for you. So that now there is not one sin that Jesus doesn't forgive. Repeat, re repeat that after me, everybody, so we can make sure to wake up for the offer. You know we're almost done. There's not a sin, There's not a sin that Jesus doesn't forgive. We're done repeating. Like, like, yeah. wow. Jesus loves you. He forgives you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. He delivered John. He's going to deliver you as well. So be at peace, my friends. Heaven awaits you. For you and I are the least. And therefore in Christ we are the greatest. Hallelujah! Christ is risen! He is risen.